Well, first, I want to thank President Obama for his leadership in regards to infrastructure, not only for airports, but throughout the country. American Recovery Act uh, greatly assisted Chicago. We're very thankful. But many times, uh, the media, unfortunately, did not present the case in a way that it did put a lot of people to work. It helped a lot of businesses stimulate the economy. And I want to thank Senator Durbin, our workhorse, not, not only for uh, this uh, um, press conference, but many others, not only in Chicago, but, but throughout the state. And mayors all over, over the uh, state of Illinois, where Democrat, Republican, Independent all come together, and Dick's office has an open policy. You walk right in, you talk about issues, uh, and his staff and himself gets on it. And I really appreciate that commitment. And Washington does work. I just want to make sure that people realize that uh, when you have elected officials like Dick Durbin, who is down there, continually work on behalf of the state of Illinois, and that's why he's been so successful. But most importantly, forging relationship between the state. Uh, uh, municipalities and people and government. Uh, many times government gets complicated, but he's there to help, continue to help us. And I personally want to thank him for his great leadership. He's a great public servant as well. He understands what public service is all about. Uh, to Ray LaHood, uh, a great appointment by President Obama, who understood uh, uh, as a congressman, uh, understood not only uh, uh, Peoria in his district, but understood all the infrastructure issues uh, around uh, the country, as well as how important airports, uh, roads, bridges, rail is to the economic future uh, uh, of our st uh, country. And that's very important because he has a holistic approach. At the same time, he realizes that things have to get done. And this announcement is an example where government does get things done. I think people have to understand that. Uh, these issues are, are get complicated, a lot of legal issues, but coming together is very important. I want to thank Barry Cooper, uh, FAA Great Lakes Administrator. We have great cooperation between FAA, it is pointed out by Secretary LaHood. There's a very safe airport. We continue to make sure safety is not only in the air, on the ground, in, in and around the community as well. Uh, to Rosie Andalino, our commissioner, and all members uh, of her department have done a tremendous job on the OMP and the management uh, of the operation, as well as uh, Lester Crown and Eden Martin, uh, uh, chairman uh, of the commercial club. Uh, past president and really active uh, uh, business leaders sit with us continually uh, on any improvement changes in O'Hara Field. And, and of course, uh, this airport was built in 1959. Uh, and think of that. At that time, it was a state of the art. We went from Midway Airport, the busiest airport in the, in the country, and all of a sudden we built O'Hara Field. And, and airports have to change, they always have to build for the future. You understand the past, and that's why configuration of the runways are vitally important. Many of our runways crisscross. We had smaller planes. So like anything else, you have to go east and west. And if you look at what we're trying to accomplish, and all airports are doing the same thing, basically making almost independent runways uh, sufficient enough in all types of weather uh, that you don't have to close the airport down as long as there's safety there. And I think that is the key. Uh, and, and pointed out, it is an economic engine. Uh, this is our community. Way through technology or airports, you communicate with the world. And that's what it is. This is the economic engine, uh, not only for businesses here uh, in Illinois, in the Midwest, uh, uh, but around the country. This is a central point for all, uh, all traffic going uh, uh, east and west in America. And so that's why it's vitally important to continue to update and modernize this airport. And uh, from my, my viewpoint, uh, the OMP has been a great, great success, and not only creating jobs and businesses, but most importantly, uh, uh, under budget. It is amazing what they've accomplished. Uh, and when you think about O'Hare's first new runway uh, uh, was in 1971, a new traffic control tower, which is the first LEED certified uh, in the country. We just, uh, announced, we just built it a number of years ago. This project's been $40 million under budget. And also uh, this morning, uh, uh, our green conference uh, using uh, sustainable green practices. So it not only, uh, not only uh, deals with jobs and economic development, uh, but the surrounding communities in the city, uh, green, uh, uh, green sustainability projects, which are really important. So I'm very happy uh, about uh, the success of O'Hare Field. Uh, that is the future uh, of cities. You need a good airport. Uh, an airport like ours and keep modernizing and improving uh, for the future of air transportation. Thank you very much.